Um, I gotta record this. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. You're, the, you're going down on the record. Go ahead. No, no, no I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Well, tell everybody what you're talking about. Yeah. What's the name of the book? It's called The Truth About 9-11. The Truth About 9-11. Go on. Well, maybe the whole story or something like that. It's a good book. Um, it chronicles, it, it, it's not sensationalized, it chronicles right. uh, Muhammad Atta's uh, whole... Uh, so it's a historical treatise. It is. Okay. Uh, it, 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 it gives the dates about when they were they were, uh, they were were learning to fly those planes. Sure. Who else was involved. And it, it, uh, it kind of uh, shows you, uh, it talks about the different personalities of these pilots. Uh, it talks about Muhammad Atta. He's a, very, he's a very rigid, he's basically an asshole to people. Uh, they, the you know, there was something about Muhammad Atta that makes me think he probably was an incredible asshole. Right. Yeah, he, uh, he, you know, he was. Uh, they moved around a lot. They. Uh, uh, it was. Re it's really very interesting, and it, it does a whole timeline thing. And one okay. of the one of the uh, one of the people that they chronicle, I haven't really gotten this, is one of the window washers in one of the towers. Yeah. And they're kind of they're kind of going through what his schedule was that morning. Sure. I didn't. Well, not to the point yet where where he really becomes pivotal. What really oh, I see what you're saying. But uh, it, this is not a conspiracy book. No, no, it's a, it's gotcha. a, it's it, it's the, the the German news media who's followed this. They right. just they compile all their stuff together and created the time. So there's no it. single author. Um, it's a series of editors, though. Perhaps it is. But right. It's a it's a great little book. I'll tell you what the exact name is of it okay. next week. But it's not a conspiracy theory. Oh, then we would really love to yeah, hear about it. it. it yeah. Is, yeah, it's it's uh, it's you know historical. You know, this is not a truther. Okay, no, no, this it, is an historical it, treaty. Right. It, it, we're not birthers. We're not truthers. No. Yeah. It was, it, and it's it's just kind of fascinating. You know, it's kind of and it's well written. As a matter of fact, it, I told Karen I'm reading it. It just kind of reads like a novel. It's just that. Spin. That's well written. Yeah. They can do that. Um, Truthers are people who maintain that the uh, attack of 9-11 was a conspiracy by the federal uh, government involving yeah. people like George Bush and Dick Cheney, that they did it on purpose. Right. And despite popular For mechanics. Oil. And no one in this room is a truth. They described uh, they described one of the pilots. <laughs> they described one of the pilots as kind of an affable guy. He was very friendly. Uh -huh. uh, he was uh, it, during flight school and everything. He was willing to help others. It, it's Are you talking about one of the terrorists? You're one of the terrorist oh, okay. pilots. Yeah. Well, you know, the word is that a lot of the guys didn't know that it was a suicide mission. And they thought they were hijacking the aircraft, and that they were going to be able to get out of this, and only the only like one in right. each team knew well, that the plan was to be And the suicide. thing about that was that they I weren't sure. That. They called those guys the strong men. They were strong. And they, those guys' jobs, they were kind of the... Well, they were, I can't say brainless because one guy had like a, a PhD or something. He was very well educated, but he was just a big, big guy. But the, that those guys they called the strong men, uh, and their their whole job was going to be to overpower the pilots and all that stuff. Right. But they did allude to the idea that they didn't necessarily want these guys to know because they weren't sure if they could stomach it, and they did not want the plan to go awry. You got 19, 20 guys. Someone's gonna go, holy shit! I'm turning us in. You want me to do what? You, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. One of them would have turned them. Would have turned them. Oh, That's yeah, why you yeah. can tell them. Yeah. All right, we're doing our political segment here. Are we? Yes, we are. I don't really have too much. I, I got, got plenty. Things. Good. Not I good. got it out the yin yang. I got a couple things I want to point out, and then I'll let you have it, sir. All right, uh, Maxine, we're gonna skip science. We have to skip science today. Maxine Waters. No, maybe not. First of all, the federal government. Yes. Love we them. always talk about you can't, you can never trust the government. The federal government has been taking the photographs, taking you know these these uh, machines they have in the airports, the full body scan machines. Yeah, they've been, they've been saving the photographs. Yep, they the said the government's they been do it. storing up the photographs. They said they couldn't do it, and then they said they wouldn't do it, and now and then they, they did are it anyway. Doing it. Yeah, and now they say, oh, well, we promise we won't do it anymore. Who in the hell believes these people? Nobody. You Nobody's can't reasonable. give the federal What's government the this kind point? of power. What's the point of giving well, Because there's personal information just on your body. They can look on there. They might be able to tell, you know, identifying tattoos. They might be able to tell, you know, moles, whether or not you have cancerous cells. or also I don't think they do. They there, you can see the photos on Huffington Post. Yeah. 
I'm not. I, I, let me be. The, maybe, let me be. Maybe not a tattoo, but let me first the, admit. You can see the bone structure of the person, and you can see the way their well, body's out. You can see, you know. Maybe see where there was a break or something like that. You you're looking. The, I mean, come on. You're. I mean, it's looking right through your clothes and it is into looking your at bone. people's private right. parts. That's basically. right. And you and can this, see those. I mean, that's disturbing. That's pretty disturbing. And the and the government's been keeping it, but now they say, well, like you said, we won't. We can't do it. We won't do it. And they did it anyway. And now they're telling us, oh, we're okay. sorry, we won't do it anymore. They are lying sons of bitches. They are. I'm telling you right now, they're going to keep everyone they can manage to keep. Mm -hmm. Missouri. Now, Missouri is not exactly a red state. Missouri no, is almost swing dead state. even. Swing state. It's almost 50 It could have gone either 71% of the electorate in Missouri voted to challenge Obamacare. Now, in other words, instructing their, the Attorney General of Missouri to challenge about 71 percent. Oh my wrong. God, that and is a stunning number. You know what the Democrats' response to this is? Oh, they're in huge trouble. What? No, no, the, the, their response so far has been, well, not a lot of Democrats turn out for the midterms, so this is mostly a Republican vote. Yeah. Again, they're just being dismissive of the whatever, electorate. Whatever. They were dismissive okay. of the electorate, that's why they did it. Yep. And now when the electorate keeps telling them how mad they are, they just, they're, let me tell you, they have, they've, they've stuck their head in the ground, they know what's coming, and yep. they just don't want to watch it happen. No, it's they, like a person who knows they're about to be mauled by a pack of dogs, turn the lights out because they just don't want to see it happen. I go back to telling you the best thing that can happen for Barack Obama is for the Republicans to win. Because then he's got somebody to blame for That's two true. solid years. He's got somebody to blame. And he's setting himself up to get Democrats back in for his next term. That's a very good point. Maxine I Waters. I don't think he's going to get a next term. I'll, I'll tell you what I think. I'd be very surprised if, Obama, if Obama gets a second term. Right we were just talking about this 9-11 thing. If, if right now, given, given, his, given the state of his, his uh, administration and the Congress, era, I don't think the guy has the stomach to handle something else that would happen on our short term. Well, I, I don't think he is particularly a very good executive. I'm not talking about whether he's a good man or not. I'm sure no. he's a loving no. father, he's never good husband. Done that's right. Exactly. But yeah, I just I just don't think this is his strength. And uh, now he could still possibly win a second term, provided the economy turns around, and I mean in a dramatic way. Well, if you're looking if at if there's it, a double dip in 2011, which a lot of people think is going to happen, yeah. he's toast. He's once done. The, once the not gonna tax happen. cuts expire, you're looking at a double dip. I think so. I think and you're probably they're, right. They're trying to mitigate double that dip. by saying double dip. Percent. Another recession. Uh, another because the economy right. is breaking. It's slowing down. Well, it's slowing down rapidly. Also, also, from what I understand, is a, uh, there's a whole wave of those arms that haven't hit yet. There's right. still soon. some adjustable rate that haven't adjusted. <laughs> oh, yeah, no the well, we're taking, we're trying to take advantage of this uh, economic malaise. Uh, Drew and I, we're trying to see if we can't get him a place, and maybe even buy, buy a place for him. Yeah? Right. And uh, all right, so Maxine Waters. Well, let me tell you something. Let me talk to you about this when this is over. Maxine Waters. Policies. Maxine Waters, who who went into a tirade before the before the House yeah. over um, Newt Gingrich, and has 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 violated. Clearly, no defense. She's clearly violated House ethics rules on, oh, there on is a defense. transferring. There's a defense. I, I know it's a minority business. That's going to be your defense. She's trying to minority racism. business and and racism. She's already playing the yeah, race card. Maxine Waters is in big trouble. She may be in more trouble than Wrangell. And, and her and Wrangell were both Clinton supporters too. Yeah. And she basically said her husband's bank was getting included. That's yeah. really what came out. He would have been included. So yeah, that that would be your argument. Anyway. But the House ethics committee rules clearly state that you cannot in any way participate or direct or even vote on it. She would have to recruit well, my accuse herself is, she didn't. My understanding is they have they, Congress has only dismissed one person from Congress ever. What what they That was the congressman right? from Harlem. Adam Clayton Powell. Keep the faith, baby. What they both what they both have done, they said the worst that they're probably going to get is some admonishment that Charlie that's Rangel won't be that's because out. they're the powers that be. Right. If you did what they did, you'd be in jail calling your lawyer. That's right. Well, Maxine uh, Waters is particularly bad about this one. I'm, I, that, that, there's a certain hypocrisy to that. Oh, she's so hypocritical. Yeah, Rangel It's unbelievable. There, Rangel wasn't really out there challenging anybody else's ethics. Every time somebody asked him, he's just like, yeah, whatever. But you know what they do is harmful. Because there are people out there who really are victims of racism. Right. But they play the race card over and over whenever they're in trouble. And that means the moment you hear somebody play the race card, you shut them off. 
Yeah. And this, and there's no point in discussing it. As Eric Holder said, there's no point in discussing it where cowards when it comes to race. Why? Because if we challenge them, you're a racist. Right. Exactly. Right. Uh, that's it for our political segment. We'll come back with our conclusion. we got to get up, and I'm going to let Brooke say whatever she wants. Speaking of